Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudul Shaktiwe. And in this video, we're going to see how we can manage the dependencies in our project using Dependabot. Again, Git Dependabot is, is, an, is an provision from GitHub, uh, which can help you to manage your dependencies, uh, keep them up to date. Again, there are a lot of choices you can make them. Uh, again, uh, the whole, whole idea is to automatically create PRs when there is a new uh, update to a dependency. For example, you are using Selenium in your project. Okay, uh, you are using 3.14, 1.5, and there is a new version uh, released by Selenium people to their Maven repo. Again, the latest version is 4.0. What you normally do is you go and you change it by yourself and then create a PR to upgrade it. But what if you automate it using Diplobot? And that's what we are going to see in this particular video. Let's go to IntelliJ. And this is the project that I'm having. So if you notice, the Selenium version is a little old. AP motion is old, uh, testing is also old. So there are all these versions are old. But since the project that I that is working, so I'm not bothered to change it. And sometimes when there is a breaking change that is happening in eight, and then people normally don't do the change, and then they keep, you know, using the older version. So we don't want to do that, and we want to upgrade when there is a new version available, and we want to do it more organically, right? So that's when the dependent bot comes into picture. So what should I do, Amudan? I think this is a new use case. So what should I do? So, so the change is very simple. You have to simply add uh, a dependent bot dot um, file, and then you have to paste some content here. So, and then that content is this, right? Very simple content. I will explain what is this. So, so the version that we are using for this YAML file is two. Um, for again. Um, you can, you, you, it is not just you can only manage manage Maven dependencies here. You can also manage Python dependencies, uh, package.json uh, for your TypeScript or JavaScript project. You can also use NuGet. So again, you can manage a lot of ecosystems here. Um, in my case, my project is built on Maven, so I have used Maven. Again, the directory structure where the pom.xml file is located is in the root, right? So it's in the root, so I can directly use it. But in your case, if, the, if it is located in some other path, you have to give the related path here, right? And how often you want to uh, the dependent bot to look for an update, right? Uh, weekly, which means it will check on every Monday that if there is a new uh, versioning available for any of these dependencies in the Maven Central repository, right? But let's say in my case, I want to put it as daily, okay? What is this open pull request limit? Which means, let's say if there are 100 dependencies in your project and on, on you are implementing this and then suddenly it creates 100 PRs, like you cannot manage it. So you want to have a restriction on how many PRs that you could then manage and the remaining things you want to keep it for the next uh, schedule, right? So in those cases, my, for me, I can only handle a maximum of 10. You can also keep it to five or three, whatever. Again, the default one is five. Again, commit message. So whenever it creates a PR, it, it, it also starts to use some commit messages. Uh, so you can also prefix them with uh, MVR, right? We, we will see what is this and how this looks like, right? So don't worry about it. Again, if you go here, um, if you go to uh, this particular docs.github.com, I will also leave the link in the description. You, you don't have to worry about it. So there are a lot of things about this, right? So you can, you can basically <laughs> learn about this. Um, so they explained, uh, maybe I will zoom it a little bit. So if you notice, the package ecosystem is is basically deciding which package manager to use, a directory in which in which place your package.json, your form.xml is located, how how you want to schedule it, you want to assign this PR to somebody else, what how should be your commit message. A lot of these options are available, right? So the open pull request remit. Um, you want to have different rebasing strategies. You can also use that uh, when you want to schedule it. You want to do a schedule that day. You can mention even a day when you want to do this. You want to mention a time you can do that. You can also mention time zones. So there are a lot of other options here, right? So you can have a very detailed look at them. So these are all uh, other package managers apart from Maven that you could use. Again, the supported versions, you can see it here, right? So in our, in our stuff, uh, you can also use Maven here, uh, private repositories, private registries, and all these things, right? So you can manage your Python dependencies, Terraform dependencies, Yarn, everything you can manage using the bot, right? 
So yeah, so you can also see the basic setup. So they have mentioned this directory and the schedule, right? So they only given the mandatory parameters here. We added something uh, for us, right? So you can also look at their all their options. Uh, it's it's pretty good documentation. You can also you know uh, let's say one of the dependencies that is very important. For example, you don't want to upgrade the Selenium version at any cost. Okay, uh, you don't want to update upgrade this at any cost. Then you can also ignore these dependencies by uh, adding some parameters in the dependency add. So it will ignore the Selenium dependencies. You can also configure. Let's say if the web driver manager uh, updates to 5.0.4, you don't want to update it. You don't want to update for minor versions. But if it is changing from 5.0.3 to 6, then you want to do it. So when there is a major version upgrade, you want to do it. When there is a minor one, you don't want to do it. So you can also configure all these things with the help of Dependent YAML by going through this documentation. Again, it's impossible for me to cover all these combinations here. But again, it is pretty simple. Like you want to assign this PR to somebody else, you can give their GitHub username, uh, commit message, or you want to give a commit message. Uh, we will see how this again. You can ignore certain differences from checking it. So all these combinations are here. Um, again, there is also time with which you can you can you know mention at what time you want to trigger it. So let me check the time syntax. So the rebasing strategy. Uh, So we can also schedule it monthly wise, uh, reviewers. Yeah, so schedule dot day, you can mention the day when you want to do it. And this is time. So I will copy this time, right? Because I want to show this to you, right? So let's go here. Um, so the time, so the time is nine, it's mentioned, but it is in UTC. So let me go and ask for current UTC time that is 2.59. Let me put 3.01, okay? Because that's the time it might take for me to do the commit. So let me put 3 colon 0, 01, right? So all good. Okay, so this is all good. Um, yeah, we, again, I am this time zone is by default UTC. That's why I checked the current UTC time. So uh, basically what I can now do is, I can do a commit. Um, uh, uh, add a depend bot, right? So let me quickly commit it. Let me quickly push it to master. I mean, there is also one more file that I committed, but don't worry about it. So, uh, yeah, it got pushed. Let's go to the project here. Um, so, yes, so. Let's go to dot github folder. We have this different about YAML file. So as per our code, it should basically trigger a pull request in just one minute, right? So let's also check the current UD Senai, right? Maybe I'll pause the video until then um, and then resume it back once it is ready, right? So so again, guys, so if you notice, the time is now exceeded. So if you notice here, it have added all the pull requests here, right? So if you notice, um, this bump maven surefire plugin uh, from, so there is a PR that got created and where it updated it carefully. So, so it updated from M5 to three, right? So, so if you want to approve this, you can approve this. But again, uh, while giving it here, uh, we saw we gave a commit message of MVN, right? So. So again, that's that's what it's displayed here. MVN bump may not show a plugin from 3.000 minus M5 to 3.000. Um, let's also check other ones. So if you notice other dependencies, uh, other PRs are also getting created. So so the Lumbok is getting uh, updated from 1.18.22 to 1.18.26. Again, it involves a little bit of efforts from your side. You have to first realize uh, that there is an update available in the Maven Central repository, and then you have to create a PR something like this, and then you have to manage it all by yourself. So, so instead of doing that, the Defender bot can manage it for you. Again, now what I can do is I feel I want to merge some code, right? So, so if you notice 3.141.4.8.3, you can also do that. But for for simplicity reasons, I'm just uh, 
you know, approving this myself, right? So, uh, looking good to me, I will submit. So, once this is approved, right? Again, the sonar cube check have failed for me. Uh, that's why that's that's a different case here. Um, so I will do the confirming merge. Yeah, now this is merge. But there is also something that you could do that you instead of you approving this and then you you merging it by yourself. This is also a little bit of effort. But what about it creates a PR and then there is another action that that pitches in and approves the PR, merges the PR. And that's that's going to be pretty cool, right? So 